Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. Dorji had a few bottles of soft drink in his restaurant. But unfortunately these are not labelled. He has to serve the drinks on the demand of customers. One customer wants acidic drink, another wants basic and the third one wants neutral drink. How will Dorji decide which drink is to be served to whom? Now again, he can perform the indicator test, for example, the litmus test. So wherever blue litmus turns red, that is acidic. For whichever drink, red litmus turns blue, that is basic. And where there is no change, that is neutral. So basically, a little amount of drink has to be taken in a glass and then the litmus paper had to be uh, put into it. Now, since it is about soft drinks which are consumable, which can be drunk and it will not be causing any harm to the body. So by taste also, he can decide which one is acidic and which one is basic because the acidic drink will have a kind of sour taste. The basic drink will have a little bit of bitter taste and if it is neutral, it will neither be sour nor bitter. Question number seven. Three liquids are given to you. One is hydrochloric acid, another is sodium hydroxide and third is a sugar solution. How will you identify them? You have only turmeric indicator. Now for turmeric indicator, for basic solution, which one will be basic? So if you put the turmeric indicator, the turmeric paper in each of these solution, you will see that the turmeric paper turns dark red in case of the basic solution, which is the sodium hydroxide. It remains yellow in the acidic solution, which is the hydrochloric acid. And in case of sugar solution, again, there is no change in color. But in sugar solution, if you take out this strip, which was put in the uh, sodium hydroxide solution, so it will still remain the same. But if you put the same strip in hydrochloric acid solution, it will again become yellow. So that's how you can uh, determine which one is hydrochloric acid and which one is sugar solution. Question number eight. Blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution. It remains blue. What is the nature of the solution? Now, blue litmus remains blue. Now, blue litmus rem remain blue. So, in what case the color becomes blue? In case of basic solution. So, basically you have two options. The solution can either be basic or the solution can be neutral. Because in neutral solution also, blue paper will remain blue. Right now, how do we decide whether it is basic or neutral? So for that purpose, what do we do? We use a red litmus paper to test it. Now, when you use a red litmus paper in case of the ba if it is a basic solution, it will become blue. But if it is really neutral, then it will still remain red. And that's how we can decide which one is basic and which one is whether it is basic or it is neutral. Question number nine. Consider the following statements. Both acids and bases change color of all indicators. If an indicator gives a color change with an acid, it does not give a change with a base. If an indicator changes color with a base, it does not change color with an acid. Change of color in an acid and a base depends on the type of the indicator. Now out of these statements, which one is correct? And then you have four options. So let's analyze the statements one by one. So the first statement says that both acids and bases change color of all indicators. Now, do you think that? Now, let us think of the blue litmus paper. So when the blue litmus paper is put into a base, there is no change in color. Blue remains blue. Similarly, when the turmeric paper is put into the acid, there is no change in color. The turmeric paper still remains yellow. So this statement is not correct. If an indicator gives a color change with an acid, it does not give a change with a base. Not really. Let's take the example of the China Rose indicator. So you see the China Rose indicator gives a pink color with acid and it also gives a green color with base. So it gives a color change with acid and it also gives a color change with base. But the colors are different. In one it is dark pink and in other it is green. So this is also incorrect. If an indicator changes color with a base, it does not change color with an acid. So actually B and C mean the same thing. So both of them are not correct. Change of color in an acid and a base depends on the type of the indicator. 
Well, this is true because if you see uh, the change of color it depends on the indicator. For example, if you think of the indicator as turmeric. So for turmeric, there is no change in color in acid. But if you change the indicator, for example, if you make it litmus paper, so there is a change in color in acid. If you think of China rose, there is a change in color in acid and here the color becomes dark pink. So how the color, whether the color will change or not, how the color will change, it completely depends upon each type of indicator. So this one is correct. So out of this, which option would be correct? Only D. So this is the right option. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on acids, bases and salts could have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.